Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Old World Blues, where we begin a new campaign. And as you can tell from that weird thumbnail I already made, and probably from the title of this, we are going to choose a nation that I have decided to give a little bit of attention to. And yes, we are in Colorado with the Iron Alliance. Now, custom game rules, nothing. Everything's at default, actually. We could change up the map setup. What is this? Broken. Does not allow achievements. Uh, I, I want to... We'll probably have to fight Khazar's Legion when they're fully together, but that's okay. I'm going to leave historical AI focuses off, mostly because I want to see what happens. Chaos can be a little bit fun to watch, and you never know what might happen. The NCR might be in a civil war. Khazar's Legion might... Spawn a civil war within their country as well fairly early on the Mormons might end up killing each other And you never know maybe the Washington Brotherhood won't last that long, but I will be honest with you right now I have not played this at all. So what you're watching is me playing this for the first time and Not knowing what I'm doing, but we do have the leader of The Iron Alliance the bullet eater so a little bit more non-core manpower foreign subversive activities efficiencies Minus 30%, an effect of partisans on us, and the AI likes to focus very, very heavily on offense. So, we will do the Great Migration two years ago. Following the rumors of New Sterling's secret vault, the Iron Alliance left Hangdog's Dog City in search of power armors, while the rest of the Hangdogs were preoccupied with their spirituality. The Iron Alliance looked for the legendary T-51B. However, Bullet Eater and his crew took a heavy toll as the sheer scope of the power armor search quickly got out of hand. And it sounds like we're going to get a debuff and we only have two research slots. And, oh, we are civilized. Now, I don't know if we were civilized or not, but we are civilized even though we are a raider nation. But it is confirmed you can play as a civilized raider nation. And I'm going to have to go for industrial planning. This stuff... Well, um, yeah, lots of that. Uh, infantry equipment sounds good to make. We, we can make a lot of stuff, actually. Uh, if that's the case, dynamite sounds like it would be pretty good to make. We're, we're on the search for armor. Robotic stuff. Power armor stuff. So I don't want to make dynamite when I won't use it that much. Stripped power armor. Um, oh, this is a tough decision. For now, I'm just go to make some more. Oh, some stuff like that. All right, cool. And we've got spec ops divisions. Oh, that's not bad. Iron battalions and the militia force. Well, we'll do that. Come down here. Come up here. Good. And we're ready to go with miscellaneous tab. Now, as you can probably tell, I still don't have the East Coast mod on because it. I literally can't get it to work. Um, I said this before, and I'll say it again. I, if the East Code mod would ever come back and it's fully updated, I will absolutely put it on. Even in the middle of a campaign, I'll totally do that, but Old World Blues just doesn't show up ever since the Fork update, which was 1.8, so... Unfortunately, we still must wait. The journey to New Sterling Vault was difficult for Bullet Eater and his crew due to the distance they had to cover. The problem started piling up quickly with much of the Iron Alliance becoming exhausted from the walk. Many of the raiders became disorganized, even some losing sight of the purpose of the search. The biggest problem was, though, uh, Great Migration, losing sight. Ooh, that doesn't seem good. Disorganization. Ooh, that's a flat minus 10. It's not even 10%. It's a flat minus 10. I can't do that one. No way. And I'd, uh, Consumer goods. Let's do research speed. I don't mind losing research speed. We'll get stuff researched anyways. Longing for home. Initially, Bullet Eater's crew enjoyed a lack of religious nagging. However, due to the lack of spirituality, the unity among the Raiders of Iron Alliance considerably deteriorated. Doesn't sound like a good time. Currently, we get about 0.88 political power a day. We got 35% stability, 55% war support, and 250 manpower. We have a total eligible core population of 19,000 people in our tiny corner of Colorado. But the further Bullet Eater and his men got from Dog City, the more divided his crew got. Many of the raiders wanted to go back due to Bullet Eater's tyrannical character, militaristic stagnation, and the lack of slaves. We need slaves. 
I don't know if I could say that on YouTube, but I don't care. Out of all these issues, the most concerning one was... Tyrannical character... Oh, that could be worse. That could be much worse. Lack of slaves? No, no, no. I need that population. Militaristic stagnation. Yeah, I'm going to do that one, definitely. New head researcher. While following the rumor of New Sterling, the Raiders encountered a particular stranger. The Iron Alliance found someone that might come in handy. I wonder, who could it be? Oh, do we have any planes? I doubt it, yeah. Any ships? Uh, we're bordering a river, but... Is this... It's not the Colorado. It's a plate tributary. Okay. We are bordered by, of course, the Wither Dogs, naturally. The Ghouls. As well as the Scorpion Bites in the south. Cool. New researcher. Mesmer joins the Iron Alliance. Bullet Eater's crew encountered a stranger who went by the name of Mesmer. He was also in search of New Sterling's vault using a self-made Protectron Battalion as his personal army. After some consideration, though... Bullet Eater decided to appoint him as the head researcher of the Iron Alliance. After all, Mesmer technological expertise would surely help in uncovering New Sterling's secret vault. Plus, if Mesmer became a liability, he could be disposed of at any time. And we got commercial protectrons, automation, and a bunch of other great things. Well, I'll we'll put you down here. If anything... Um... I don't want to go to fight the Weathered Dogs, but then again, I don't want to fight... Kaiser's Legion, but then again, I don't mind fighting the Hangdogs. But then again, I want to get to the Yampa. We have a lot of decisions to make. God dang it, I skipped a day. My bad. Hope! With the recent addition to the Iron Alliance, much of the Raiders felt a sense of new sterling ambition. Fascinating. Truly fascinating. And uh, now we get 0.58 political power day. Not good. Not good. I don't like it, but it's better than losing population that we already don't have, as well as losing attack and defense and stuff like that. Ruler. Oh, hope. With Bulletstorm's might and Mesmer's expertise, New Sterling's secret vault would almost certainly be found by the Iron Alliance. With this newfound hope and ambition for the future called New Sterling Ambition, the NSA... Uh, oh, NSA. Was born. The NSA has many definitions. While it can be the hope to discover the secret vault, it can also be the hope to build something new or even establish something grand. New Sterling Ambition has many definitions, but the most correct de definition is... Okay, political power gain and stability... Consumer goods and stability. Research speed and stability. Well, research speed isn't bad. Eventually, you will research stuff. It just takes a little bit longer. Uh, do we need more political power or consumer goods? I would say consumer goods eventually doesn't really mean too much. Uh, I'm going to go with more political power because we lost 10%. And if you have more political power, you can do more things. You can get out of civilian economy. You can hire new ministers. So, I think political power. And eventually, you can cord states that you don't have cord already. So, we'll go with that. And I will go with Secret Vault because it says, This national focus is better to be taken in the early game as it provides flat bonuses to technology trees. New Sterling Secret Vault finally sits in front of us. But cracking this bad boy open is harder than expected. Nonetheless, with each attempt, we get closer to the loot inside. Soon, we will get inside and we can only wonder what treasure awaits us. Beautiful, bountiful treasure. But at least we get 0.76 political power today. Could be much worse. Of course, we did get a little bit more stability, so that was very nice. Boy, we need a lot of infantry equipment to make our stuff. Oh, but we need... Protectrons. There you go. We'll make at least one thing, because... These Protectrons... There's like eight battalions? Nine battalions of Protectrons. They're very, very experienced. A plus 75% modifier in combat. Wow. Let's see. Energy cell usage, 43. That's not bad. I mean, it's the, I'm only using this one division. Armor isn't great, but that's not bad. I mean, could be much worse, especially in the early game. Supply use, eh, we don't have that many divisions. We definitely need to get more divisions, but whatever. So who do we have for ministers? Okay. Coughing bulletproof. Uh, Webster Jaden, that's not bad, but that does hurt our stability. Set, uh, settlement Raider, more attack. I like that. Chem Pusher. Alright, Wall Painter. Slaving a Bastard. Military Staff. Expanding the Gang. That's not bad. Better justify War Goals time. Stubborn Bastard. Oh, not bad, not bad. Interesting stuff. Uh, the okay, There goes the Desert Rangers. Elite Army Research Time. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. So, for the mods, obviously we don't have East Coast like I said earlier. But I kept on all the other mods, including... The Courier 6 mod. So we should have the Courier 6 come about sometime here. Hopefully. Uh, I still have a Royal mod. The, the sub mod for the Chosen One. 
we do have New Reno, and they have their own mod. Lil Jesus Mordino, or Lil Jesus. Um, Yakuza Territories, they have doped raiders, so they have a little bit of their own tree, to a degree. We have the Vault City, or Vault Tech mod on as well, once again. And I think there's one more. I can't really remember which one. Yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure I put the Courier 6 mod on. I'm more than positive that we put it on. Uh, of course we need more manpower. Antelope tribes, yeah, these guys got their stuff. We got industry planning. We got Ohm's Law. Uh, go ahead and not do this one. Work as needed. And then, better construction speed, please. Thank you. I thought there was one more I added on. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I didn't add one more on. But, regardless. I definitely want to see if Arroyo can do something here. Maybe Yakuza or Nurino or Vault City. See something a little bit different. Since we are playing as the Iron Alliance, Iron Alliance in this, this playthrough. Basic hygiene education. Weekly war support goes down for more weekly stability and research speed. That's not bad. Prioritize living standards. Okay, not bad either. Ex of course, you can always expel the riffraff, but we'll see what happens after we get to this secret vault. Alright, come on, come on, research. You always want to zoom in so your game process is a little bit faster. Oh yeah, special forces minimum capacity plus 25, nice. So, with Mesmer's help, the Iron Alliance finally cracked open the new Sterling Vault. The crew managed to secure a lot of loot and resources. To be more precise, though, raiders managed to find an abundance of components, energy, composite materials. Well, hmm. Oh, resource production, very good. Well, what do we need? Robots and power armor in general need circuitry and energy. But even... But energy has a double use, because you need it for production of this stuff, which we don't have a lot of, but you also use it for energy cell consumption. So I'm thinking that might be the thing to do. Circuitry, of course, will be extremely important to get, but before we make a choice, let us examine resources. Does anyone else have circuitry even remotely close? Hangdogs do. Um... We can get energy from the Wither Dogs. We can get energy, slightly more energy from the Scorpion's Bites. And if we go to Yampa, we can get more energy. So let's not get energy. Uh, let's go with Advanced Components. Alright, very nice. First floor. Better to be taken in the early game as it provides flat bonuses to Technology Trees. Sterling's Headquarters. I definitely want to go Slaves to the West. But we gotta wait. Uh, first floor. Shortly after entering the vault, one of the boys found an elevator. While this is good, while it's not so good, is that the elevator itself doesn't work. It will take some time before the Iron Alliance will be able to descend deeper into the vault. But thank God we found it. Thank God. And there's some water over here. Nice. Holyoke. Holyoke. Very interesting. So, of course, the Desert Rangers are trying to kill the Vipers. Uh, it's not bad. Oh, I think there was a Sky Reavers mod. I didn't add it in this time just because I forgot about it. But they have their. I've heard that they've had their own sub mod as well. Oh wait, no. Uh, dope Raiders. Well, maybe Yakuza doesn't have their own tree. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. But yeah, someone also recommended that, that maybe I should try playing as a Yakuza sometime. And you know what? I agree. I will play as a Yakuza sometime. I'm not sure when. Uh. Okay, New Reno. How did you do that already? See, this is the stuff why I like to not put on historical AI because they do stuff like this. Addiction Empire. Mordinos Tributaries. Okay. The Klamath... They must have already done it. Holy cow. That's... That's intense already. That's pretty intense. Not gonna lie. Uh, are these cores? They're cores. So, okay. So Norino really has... I wouldn't say double, but maybe slightly less than double their size, and maybe even manpower. That's interesting. That's very, very interesting to see. Uh, Kaiser's Legion is taking a while to kill off Twisted Hairs. Lessons of the Old World. Of course, they got a lot of manpower. The Twisted Hairs have a ton of manpower as well. Holy cow. Of course, not nearly as many divisions, but whatever. Um, just kind of comparing them. Of course, Kaiser has way more factories, so that definitely works out in his favor. Oh, vault entry. Besides the power armor that we found, the boys noticed that there are also some other resources present in the vault's entrance, and we should decide which resource which we should scavenge. Scavenge. Oh, there goes Washington Brotherhood. They annexed 
the I nation. Composite materials, nice. I need to save up my political power, though, really. Because even though these guys don't give me any political power, except if you want to lose some stability, I do want to get to... Oh, we can't change this. Ooh, we have to be at war for this stuff. That's not good. Construction basics. Um, Production and efficiency cap growth. That's nice. Let's do that next. Let's see. What do I want to use my political power on? I mean, if I can't change this, there's no point to change that. Maybe military theorists. I would like to change my army templates to a degree. Elite army research speed. Conventional warfare. Military staff. I may just end up... Mm, oh, monthly population. That looks pretty good to me. But we have the first floor. Despite the delay, the raiders managed to descend into the depths of New Sterling's vault. Stopping by the first floor, the first vault floor held even greater riches than the vault's entrance did, providing the raiders with energy weapons. Wow, 2,000. Securitrons? Heavy melee weapons. Um, well, right now we're kind of out of infantry equipment, but we can make that. Added security protectrons. Basic, oh, heavy. Let's go with security protectrons. See what happens with that. Oh, police protectrons. I love it. Beautiful. Now it says we should take this one as well, and I'm inclined to do so. And then maybe do slaves to the west. Second floor. While the vault's first floor held valuable loot, there are still still two floors left. Disappointed, as Mesmer continued to work on accessing the second floor. It will soon be time to descend even deeper and hopefully find yet more technology for the Iron Alliance to use. Now I'm questioning whether we should do the third floor or danger from the south. Let's see. Guarantee the withered dogs. Oh, dog support. Origin over race, origin over dog. Mo we annex withered dogs. We annex... Scorpion's Bites. Become more autocratic. The Pact. We become the Pact. One to rule the Pact. The rest as administrator's second thoughts. Grabbing the bull by the horns. Or you wait to go to war with Khazar's Legion. And then you might contact the Brotherhood. And then you can get to the third floor. Shipment. 500 units of police protection is added to the national stockpile. Um... Good. Oh, only... Okay, not 500, but 490. Well, that's still better than nothing. Uh, here, Protectrons Mark II. Yeah, that'd be good to do. You know what? Mesmer's Protectrons? If I add one more on, that'll make it 20 width. Not bad. Oh, Light Robot Divisions. Nah. Mm, if we need to, we can always train those as well. Armor is always handy to have. Oh. Oh, we can also do this stuff. Bonus. I like the bonuses. Um, I'm really thinking here, let's get some more weekly stability, because I could really, really, really use more stability, because that would help us with getting more political power, getting more factory output, getting more dockyard output, and I think that's worth it in the end. I, I remember hearing a long time ago that stability, you really want to make your stability as high as possible in the early game, so that you can reap the benefits throughout most of the entire game. Oh, we're 30% intellectual. Ah, Mesmer. But... At least that's what I've heard. Ooh, Men of Iron. Interesting. Very, very interesting. We have the Rib Breakers, of course. They don't have a focus tree. One banner. No, they do not. Yeah, that's okay. Not every fo not every country needs a focus tree. But it'd be very nice if they all did. Uh, let's see what happens with Vault City. Are they led by the Brain yet? No, still Lynette. Still Lynette. Yakuza Territory is under... Michisara? Michisura? Tachibana. Grabber Territory. Interesting. Sky Reavers. Vegas dislikes both Kaiser's Legion and of course the Brotherhood of Steel. The False Khan. Oh. Sunnyvale Expedition. Oh, I they, see I added the Courier 6 mod in, but uh I guess they didn't take it. Darn it. Uh that kind of sucks. Remanifest Destiny. New Vegas will be known as New America. We core all what? No gods, no masters. Eureka. Run for president. Country changes to the NCR. I need to play the Courier 6 mod sometime. Benny Vidi Vici. A tumor. Bruce? Oh my goodness. Holy goodness. Uh, there's so many countries I want to play, but... Oh, you d I just don't have time to play them all. And I don't think you guys want, like, six uploads a day. Even though I, I can't do six uploads a day. That'd be That's way too much for me. But, you know, that'd be really cool, but... 
I, I need to play that Courier 6 mod and focus on them. But that that's kind of disappointing that New Vegas did not choose that path. Which way did they choose? They chose... Work is needed. They went with Old Authority. Alright, well, I mean... Architect of Destiny, huh. Follower support. Because we in the last campaign, I went with the Joker. This pretty much looks like it... Like the other... Like, like the normal one, just it's extended a little bit further to the left. But anyways, similarly to the first floor. The second floor also took some time to descend to. The vault's second floor contained numerous blueprints of highly advanced old world technology. The most complete of which were the blueprints for... Power armor. Dog equipment. Interesting. We could get dog equipment. Salvage cars. I'm not going to do that. I don't really, really don't focus on motorized vehicles that much. Power armor. Hmm. Scavenged power armor. Oh, we can't do this one. Hang dogs must die. I doubt I could kill the hang dogs for now. Slaves to the west. The future of our forces. Well, we might be able to kill off the withered dogs. They don't. They have about as many divisions as we do. They have way more manpower than us, though. I'm going to have to mobilize a little bit more men. Yeah, so let's leave them alone, maybe for now. We'll get more political power. We get an annex war goal, but we need more factories, too. Sterling's headquarters. Now that the Iron Alliance is fully settled in, it's time to establish a new headquarters next to Sterling's vault. From this new base, our raiders will be able to pillage, enslave, and raid to their heart's content. And then once we're done with that, I may choose Arms Workshops, Loaded Raiders, Local Slaves, Warriors of the Wasteland, New Sterling's Ambitions, I like that, I need more population, Civilian Work, Oh, Research Slot, I need another Research Slot so badly, ah, shipment, a thousand units of scavenged power armor is added to the National Stockpile, beautiful, third floor, far from homes, complete control, technocracy, Non-core manpower, plus 30%. Holy smokies. Plus 5%, so 35%. Nearest vaults. The nearest brotherhood. Patching up zombies. Hmm. Through hospitality. Or through waterboarding. Waterboarding sounds like fun. A gift of technology. There goes Cyclops tribes. Removed slaves for smarts. Iron Alliance can join the Western Brotherhood. There goes Twisted Hairs. And then... Oh, I could join Vault City. Oh, how, what if I say, screw both of you guys. I want to do this on my own. I could probably do that too. Scorpion Bites. They have even fewer divisions than us. I wonder. We need seven more political power. That might be worth it to do that. We have almost 40% stability. The cause was annexed by the Washington Brotherhood. Hmm. Oh, wait. What happened... Oh, I only get 0.31 a day. Oh, because we're still expelling the Rift Raft. And stability isn't great since it's below 50%. So, you know, whatever. You know, things happen. Um, Washington Brotherhood looks fairly mighty. Fairly mighty. Old Country looks pretty large. New Reno's looking pretty good again. Arroyo is... Oh, wait. Did they... Did Arroyo and New Reno split Klamath up in half? Because there's Klamath claims here. Oh, Western Brotherhood annexed Umbra. Desert Rangers are slowly killing the Vipers. Kaisar Legion must be killing somebody else soon. No, they're just making child soldiers. They have non-aggression pact with the cons. What are the cons up to? Improved housing. Papa Khan. Um. Oh, they went with Regis. Chichen Itza declared war on that little South, the Central American country. Oh, improved housing plus twenty percent monthly population sounds pretty good to me. I'd probably take that. And what are their dogs? Uh, they have way more manpower, but I have six divisions. They only have four to six. Would I be able to... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I might be able to pull an encirclement. These guys... Actually, Scorpion's Bites... We have one more division than them, at least. They don't have a lot of manpower. And they have more factories. I like the factories. This probably might not be a good idea. And, oh, yeah, they... I can take them out using my focuses... Because there is this. I er where is that? Yampa, Withered Dogs, Painting in Red against Painted Men. Oh, maybe I don't have something to take them out using the Scorpion's Bites. Forgers. Hmm. Mormon question. So there is nothing here. 
for the scorpion bites. Oh, then I didn't make a mistake at all. Awesome. So, let's go ahead and choose. Uh, let's do Arm Raider for more workshops to get to another research slot. Iron Alliance will slowly arm the crew by establishing military workshops in New Sterling's headquarters. Careful planning will ensure the future development and scientific advancement of the HQ. And we've got quite a bit of energy cells, and I love it. We still need more robots, and we need to actually make some power armor divisions. But we are out of manpower, which is a big, big shame. Wow, we are slowly really becoming more and more intellectually gifted here. Not bad. But if we can take these guys out, then potentially, if I get enough political power over time, then I can core their territory. Now, that's going to take a long, 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 long time, but, you know, things happen. Uh, organized agriculture, sure. I love that manpower that we are no longer getting any more of, but whatever. Uh, if that's the case, don't do that. One infantry... Robots, um, with robots, they only use robots, they don't need any sort of normal equipment. Uh, I can just get rid of these infantry divisions, that will save me currently 175 manpower. But robots, you won't lose nearly as many men if you use robots, so, god dang it, we'll do that. So be it. Give me that 43 extra manpower. We can actually make at least one more robotic division. Robot division. So we can take out the scorpion bites for more factories, more resources, and more land. That's really what I'm doing here. Besides, I don't want to take out the wither dogs just yet. Yes, it does open up a front against Kaisar's Legion, but at least for now, it might only be Mars Valley down here. And guarding this tile, if you know if you've ever played a total war game on a bridge, you know that you're probably not gonna lose this. You could, but probably not. Especially if it's oh, it's a plane. And then if you get kicked back here, they still have to attack through here. So really, that's not a place to, that's too bad to defend from. But if Kaiser's Legion takes out the Hangdogs, oh, then that's terrible. Then all that is opened up. But, you know, we'll see what happens. You never know. Um, I don't think Kaiser, yeah, oh god, they're going to kill the Hangdogs next, has a focus to take out Iron Alliance because this is a sub-mod, but that's okay. Actually... Um, they have, yeah, I mean, they have these guys up here. These are the main ones they want to take out, including the Mexican expansion stuff, but they can always manually justify on us, which would it be very fun for us. Um, weekly stability. I want more stability. I don't want to lose war support, though. Oh, canine technology. Three bonuses. Awesome. Power armor technology. Motorized. We have ten factories. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Hmm, planning speed. Max planning, monthly population, I think is really great. Minus 10% defense, but plus 20% attack. That sounds pretty good to me. There's so many things you want to do in the beginning of... <gasps> Alan, Randy, 5% more population. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, give me that manpower. I gotta choose him. I have to choose him. I need manpower. Arming raiders, or armed raiders... Let us go ahead and do smart raiders. While descending to the first floor of the vault, one of the boys found some blueprints. Mesmer thinks it would be a good decision to look into these blueprints as they might aid our research. And we're slowly making more support robots, which is great. We have organized agriculture. Next up, we're going to get seed selection. And yes, I know, I've done nothing for my land auction, which will be very, very important. I'm thinking that we're probably going to focus pretty heavily on robots or power armor. So we might go with automated Warfare. A royal declared war on the bone pickers. Please, a royal, do not die here. They're not as big as you, and you probably might be a little bit more strong, but oh, there go the hangdogs. Oh no. That's not good. Can I give anything to the hangdogs to survive? No. I can justify on them, but I don't think that would really help them out that much. Alright, next up in eight days, we've got some more research, and we'll have some smart raiders in a few days as well, because my cat is calling for me to open the door to let him inside, because he wants to sit down and spend some of the time with us. Pinky, come on, hey. Yeah, you okay? Yeah? Yeah? Alright, Pink, yeah, you want the chair? Yeah, you want your chair again? Alright, there you go. Yeah, Pink. Oh, boy. Alright, Bing, take a nap. Up, 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 there he comes. There he comes. You okay? Bing? Would you like improvised tools, Binky? Oh, Binky. 
I don't know what his deal is, man. I, I just don't know. Um, let's see. Uh, construction speed. Let's get some local workspaces, since it will be almost 2276. And he's biting my clothes. Again. Cool. Uh, I, I need that manpower. I could really use that manpower, man. Lots and lots of manpower. Common energy weapons. I mean, these are all great stuff to have, but... Dog tech. Take 75. But at least we got options. We have so many options to use our political power. So many. Oh, we could actually maybe go to early mobilization, too. But man manpower. I gotta get manpower. We currently only have 5%. We need at least a limited conscription for 5% more. What do I think? Alright, right now. Still got that stockpile. Making just a little bit more. You know what? Focus more on doing this. More, more, more protectrons for now. I could be making power armor, but... Uh, I'm making just mostly robots right now. 40% hardness, 25 armor. 20 armor. I mean, we can probably wait and make more robot... Di eh, well, maybe we can't make more robot divisions and this power armor stuff. In time, I will probably switch over to just power armor. Maybe a few robot divisions, but mm, I'm going to wait. Oh, Royal, please, come on. Please do not lose. Whatever you do. You have made encirclement. Two encirclements, but they've also made two encirclements. That's not good, guys. Come on. Smart Raiders, nice. Good, good, good. Keep going. Right, bold, right r Rolt territory declared war on the Pale Folks. God dang it, Arroyo. Come on. Hold on. Not many manpower. Oh, they don't have that many mother divisions either. Smart Raiders, though. Raider management. Oh, I definitely do this. Now that the Iron Alliance is here, and is already somewhat established, many of the Raiders are feeling a sense of NSA. As NSA spreads through the Iron Alliance, more and more of our crew want to fight and make a name for themselves. Glorious. Finally, we got a third one here. And with this, Land Doctrine, Refined, refined Warfare. Uh, refined Warfare, Rapid Deployment, Flexibility of Command, um, Conventional Warfare, Flexibility of Movement, Principal, power armor. Oh, god dang it. Uh, do I have to make a choice now? I don't want to make a choice now about power armor and stuff like that. I'm probably going to go down power armor. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to do it. Um, training time, worth, that's not bad. I like robots, and I'll use them for now, but this doesn't hurt us too much. This concentration of forces still is good for us. Yeah, I mean, mean. Rapid deployment. All infantry. Well, you know what? Let's see what happens. We'll go with refined warfare for now. And I want to finish... Uh, at least one more research thing. How many more days until we can go to war with the Scorpion Bites? It is 2276, so happy 2276 to all of you out there. So we're about 100 days away before we can go to war with the good old Scorpion Bites. But anyways, I guess I will end our first episode right there. So with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Tell me in the comments below, should I go with Danger from the South or the Third Floor? Should I focus on robots? Should I focus on power armor? We've kind of already established where I'm probably going to go with this, but I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. But anyways, uh, check out my Discord link below. It's the first thing in the description. And I will see you all tomorrow as we have a great, great time watching the Yampa attempt to kill off the Wither Dogs. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great, great day.